What's up everybody? I'm Brian from I Want Tesla and I just got an update. 20.4.2 something something something. I don't know. It's Beach Buggy Racing. Let me show it to you. Let's have some fun. Let's play some games. Do a little dance. Make a little noise. Try a controller tonight. We just got it. It's late. It's dark. Uh, I'm going to try to light this up as much as possible without a glare on the screen. Let's go over what's in this update. Let's hit the release notes. And of course, it's the Beach Buggy Racing. There's a new app launcher. The display brightness was on from before. There's dog mode improvements. Everyone's interested in is Beach Buggy Racing and the new app launcher. First, let me show you the app launcher. Like before, there was many ways to get into the backup camera. You click here, six icons have popped up here, but one of them was right here anyway. So what they've done, they've now made a bar that goes across that has all of your things in it. So your camera's way over here, but it's always right here. I still don't understand why your camera is still right there when it's always right there anyway. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, dude. Oh no, he who is blind can now see. If you're charging, which again, that's dumb because your charging is up here. You can just hit the battery. So some of these things are duplicates that they don't really need in here. Uh, the calendar doesn't really need to be there because if you have your calendar linked, as soon as you get in the car in the morning, it automatically pops up for you. Your phone you would use a lot and possibly the energy you'd use quite a bit and maybe the web, but I'd, I wish you can actually hold down and adjust these, but unfortunately you can't. Ooh, we can go back and forth and see how high we can get this. <laughs> Maybe we can move it off the screen completely. I'm just dragging my finger back and forth, and it's reading that I'm just pushing this up. wonder if we're going to get all the way up to the top, cover everything. Oh, is it going to go away? All right, it's all the way at the top. I wonder if I let go if it just drops. <laughs> yeah, it does. Fun with bugs. Now, instead of going up here, having to click the T, pull this down, go to the go to the video games you can now go click this here it takes you right to your your toy box again this is really i i think a waste of time a waste of engineers time figuring out this menu system uh, this menu system was fine the way it was it just didn't need two extra things in there that didn't need the backup camera the charger or they didn't need to be here why they went with a menu bar across there i'm not sure but you know, Tesla doesn't hire me. I wish they would. You want a job? The other thing in the menu bar is arcade mode. It'll take you right to the arcade, which is kind of cool. Uh, you still have all the other games in here, just as before. But the new one is Beach Buggy Racing. Beach Buggy Racing, well, you've seen some of the videos, warning. Uh, you don't have to use the accelerator pedal. You do use the brake pedal if you want to. But I also did, I brought a controller out to see if now the USB ports work. We're gonna try it out. It shows a white Model 3. Doesn't look anything like a Model 3, but that's all right. <laughs> or you can play one, one player or two player. You've got this, your settings here. You can do the music volume, the music, the steering sensitivity. Can you touch him? Hey buddy, can you change the car? Why is the Tesla T so large on this? I have no idea. Uh, let's click one player or player one let's go with rex continue and this is the only one everyone's starting out with chill mode let's see how difficult ludicrous is i don't have a ludicrous car yet but we'll see let's turn the volume up a little bit and get ready to use the brake i'm sure i'll have to use the brake a lot so you can use the steering controls on here if you want to uh, or the steering wheel and we're going to continue you can hit the power-ups, place third to unlock, try the steering wheel. All right, here we go. Whoa. All right, you got to use the brake. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go. Let's get some here. I use the the right con the left control to hit fire and I wrecked. I almost died there. Good thing this is the safest car in the world. Uh, why did I jump in the air? <laughs> All right, let's get. What is this? I just got chickened.
This is kind of difficult. Not the easiest game, especially on Ludacris. Aim on sixth place. This is the first time playing. Oh. I can't watch anymore. Apparently Rubin's not racing here. I'm on fire. Oh. I just got chicken again. Luckily, you can still see. <laughs> All right, I came in fifth place on my first try. This this was kind of difficult on Ludacris, but that's all right. We accept a challenge, Ludacris. We're gonna beat that this time. We're actually gonna use the brake pedal this time. <laughs> Sixth place that time. So I beat my score, but I still came in sixth place in Ludicrous. Let's see the difference if I do that same thing in chill mode. Yeah, everyone goes a little bit slower in chill mode. Yeah, everyone's like just Sunday driving here. No wonder all those all those people online are doing awesome because chill mode is nothing like ludicrous. This is like a a walk in the park on a, no, a Sunday driving. I'm not even driving. It's aut autonomous. This is nothing. This game is boring after playing it in ludicrous. All right, I still died and I still came in first place. But look at the time difference. Two minutes and 14 seconds versus a minute and 49 seconds. And I came in last of you four. So definitely play in Ludicrous uh, if you want to, but you can play two person. But what I'm gonna try, the last update, you couldn't use the USB controller, but we are gonna try this time. We're gonna hit player one. Let's try that dude. Let's try the different track. And since I'm on it with the controller, we're gonna see if we can do it on this. Probably not, but we're gonna try it. Xbox One controller. Maybe gas brake. We'll see. I'm turning. Nope. Nope. The controller doesn't work. You still have to use the wheel. The brake works. This is the brake. Oh, that's reverse. You can't, uh, you can't turn in reverse though. How come you can't turn in reverse? Can you do donuts? You can do donuts. Sorry. Doing some drifting. I do like these fun uh, video game things. I don't use them very often. I'm probably gonna get my son in here and play a little bit. Maybe when the controller starts working, I'll bring him out and do some video gaming. I don't supercharge very much, so it's something I'm not gonna be very using very often. Uh, you can't do this while you're driving, but maybe you can when full self-driving is available. My wife's been driving this car a little bit more than I have lately, so I haven't been doing many videos on this particular car. I've been driving hers, trying to keep the miles down because we are selling her car and hopefully getting something new soon and i'll have more details on that and our experience i do have a patreon if you'd like to help support the channel there's a link down below uh, also at the end of the video every little bit helps even a dollar because you know if a thousand people gave me a dollar i'd have a thousand dollars think about that one that's some good math sure you don't want to hire me tesla as always stay awesome stay positive have some fun in life get out there and play some video games in your car whoever thought people would say that i'll catch you on the next one